1977, the year before I went to law school, I was a self-defense instructor at Women Organized Against Rape in Philadelphia. I later went on to advocate on behalf of victims of any kind of crime. What I realize is that in addition to holding offenders accountable, we have an equal responsibility to help victims of crime rebuild their lives. The concept of parallel justice was really something I developed when I was at the National Center for Victims of Crime. And I called it parallel justice because I believe that these are two separate paths to justice for victims. Only half of people who experience a crime ever report to the police. Only 20% of those reported crimes result in an arrest. So if the only way we conceptualize justice for a victim is a criminal conviction, we're leaving out a tremendous number of victims of crime in this country. Sometimes the interests of victims do not coincide with the interests of society. I love teaching. I love having students who have rarely thought about how victims fit in to their concept of justice. What else? What might some other large societal interests be? Hundreds of students every year are going to go out into the world, and no matter what they do in criminal justice, they will be thinking about victims differently than practitioners before them. And that's really satisfying.